So I had a comment on my original video that I posted on Polar about um, wondering if uh, a raw file format will work for Polar, and it will. Um, however, he was wondering that since he contacted Polar, they said, uh, no, they don't support raw file format editing. And why they're saying this is I really have no idea. Um, because for starters, they kind of market it as a beginner to expert tool for photo editors. Um, as you see right here, designed for both novices and experts. Well, generally experts are shooting in raw file format. If they're not, I don't know why they wouldn't be, but generally they are. So if you're going to market it to experts, you need to have the raw file format capabilities for editing, such as Lightroom has. Um, so uh, again, why they're saying this, I have no idea. Um, however, there are there is at least one file format I'm aware of that they will not properly edit, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, so let's open. Let me show you these two photos here. You have a .NEF file format, which is Nikon's RAW file format, and we have a .ARW, which is Sony's RAW file format. So when I was shooting Nikon, I was using Polar, and it worked great. I loved it. I loved it. Um, I wasn't even thinking about purchasing Lightroom and needing a separate computer to do that because it ran really well in my Chromebook and it edited photos as good as I could have wanted them. And they have a bunch of extra features that puts it almost on par with Lightroom and Photoshop. And it's, it's really great in my opinion. Um, however, this Sony file, it does not work for the editing. Um, so we'll open up Polar. I've already imported these photos, but I'll show you just in case, because this is kind of confusing too, for some reason. So when you open your, um, Let's see, where to go, there it is. So when you open this up, you'll say nothing to see here. But I just showed you that they're right here. And this is the same for YT video, for YT video. So what you have to do is you have to come down here, select all fires, files. Chromebook, for some reason, doesn't recognize raw files as photos. They only recognize, my guess would be JPEG, PNG and TIFFs. So just make sure you select all files or else you're going to be hunting around for it, wondering why you can't import it. So that was something I struggled with when I first got <laughs> Polar. <laughs> so as you'll see here, these two have been imported. This is the one from the Sony. And let's click on Save Photo. Then we'll click Resize. And it's default. Uh, dimensions on the export are 1080 by 1920. Well, I shot this in RAW with a 24 megapixel camera. This should not be 1080 by 1920. It should be 4,000 by 6,000. If we look here on the Nikon photo that I took, we'll export 4,000 by 6,000 about. So this is one way to test if your RAW file format will work with the Polar is to check the default export dimensions. And if they're much smaller, like as in the case of this photo, then it's not going to work. And what's going to happen when you start to edit it is you're going to get a lot of noise. So you see right here, there's like all this noise and like more so than we like more so than what's up here. Um, for some reason, this photo, and it was a lot worse on another photo I tried editing. It just, it did not want to work and it made it look horrible noisy, really gross photo. I was not pleased. And that's kind of when I figured out that Polar doesn't work with at least Sony's RAW file format. I think it would work with Canon. Um, I don't know about Pentax, Fuji, all those. Um, so it's just one thing to check, but that's a good way to test to see if it's going to work for you or not. And um, yeah, so it's just really interesting to me that they would say that they don't support raw file format, even though they do for some raw file formats, not all file formats, but for most is my guess. I mean, for $20, it's a really good photo editor for beginners and people who are trying to get into it. And maybe even someone who has a Chromebook and just wants to be able to edit photos on the fly. 
you can do that with this and it's really good for that. Just make sure you're not using a Sony camera because as we found out that doesn't work very well. Um, and so, yeah, I also used to be able to check file dimensions on, um, I think I, I, it used to pop up here what the dimensions of the file were. I thought it does it for JPEGs. It doesn't do it for these. So you won't be able to tell from just looking, but since you're shooting in raw, it should, or it does raw does use your full camera sensor and it's full capacity. So uh, I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll see you later.